Legal fireworks like sparklers or spinners are only going to be allowed during the week of 4th of July. Just last month, Medford City Councilors voted to reduce the time period to use legal fireworks from 14 to 6 days, from July 1st through the 6th. The penalty of using illegal fireworks has also increased from $250 to $2,500. Medford resident Jennifer Cromer, who buys fireworks every year, says she doesn't mind popping fireworks within the shorter time frame, but the increased fine is something she takes seriously. It's definitely something that if I have a friend come over and they've got some illegal, I will not be participating because I do not want to pay $2,500. Employee Tommy Forsythe that Discount Fireworks Superstore says despite the new law in place, he's not worried about losing sales this year. I don't think anything's going to change. I think that they're just going to make, it's going to be to where they can, uh, basically build to watch what's happening. The city wants to remind the public that it is illegal to discharge any fireworks in the East Medford Hills, the Greenway, or any city park or public school within city limits. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office says they will be out on patrols, ensuring everyone is following the rules. We're going to be out there patrolling, but uh, we want folks to use their common sense. Don't be too intoxicated. Supervise children. Don't light uh, fireworks in dry grass and have a way to put out any fires that do start, like a fire extinguisher, a bucket of water. Safety is the biggest concern for everyone this time of year. Cromer says she'll be watching her son closely, making sure she and her family have a safe 4th of July. I don't want this to go away. I want it to stay because the kids love it and I love it. So I'd rather follow the rules and that way we can keep fireworks in Medford. In Medford, Ray Van Vars, NBC5 News.